It is my privilege to introduce you to Dave Stroud. Dave's our director of interactive exhibits at Thanksgiving Point in Utah. I had a little more to say, but it looks like rock and roll. He's ready to go. And before I get started, Kate gave me some advice. She said if I took the power stance, I could really channel in the energy, and I, I can feel that working. So uh, my name is Dave Stroud, and I make Frankenbikes, and that's a Frankenbike. Uh, that one's a Frankenbike, too. I'm also the director of interactive exhibits at Thanksgiving Point, which is a farm, garden, and museum complex in Lehigh, Utah. And I'm the director of interactive exhibits, which means if you could lick an exhibit, kick an exhibit, or learn something from an exhibit, my group probably touched that. <laughs> so um, I'd also like to talk about work and play. Uh, maybe some of us might think about that as uh, something we do for seriousness and something we do for passion. And I have a tendency to kind of let my two worlds run together. Uh, so our, uh, you might ask yourself, what exactly is a Frankenbike? So I have a little video showing me make a Frankenbike. Uh, it is mostly about, well, I find cast off bicycles. I love to get them out of the trash. Sometimes I call them recycles instead of bicycles. And well, I noticed that in our society, apparently there's nothing more disposable than a little girl's pink bicycle. I have about 50 of them in a giant pile in my backyard. And that is what I usually start to work from. You might notice I'm, I do a lot of measuring, a lot of cutting, a lot of hammering, a lot of welding. And those are skills. I love to develop skills, and it makes it so I can make more things uh, for myself and for other people. It also turned out to be that somebody mentioned, hey, Dave, your job and what you do as a hobby seem almost the same. And I thought, ooh, why would I want to? Why would I want to do the same thing for fun that I do at work? Well, most people think of work and play as somehow separate. I mean, there are differences. When I'm at work designing exhibits or exhibitions, they're for our guests, and they're supposed to have a couple of things in common. They're supposed to usually make sense, and they're supposed to be relatively safe. <laughs> so Frankenbikes don't really make sense they're for me, so they don't have to make sense. And they're for me, so they don't have to be safe. <laughs> um, but that, that is the kind of thing that I like to leverage. It's so, I feel that if, when I'm making something for guests, I also want it to be really exciting, really entertaining. And I feel like, have you ever talked on the phone and you smile while you're talking so the other person can hear you smiling? <laughs> so. I do the same thing when I'm building exhibits or exhibitions. I like to think about what's exciting to me and try to inject that enthusiasm into the objects I'm making because I believe it becomes tangible to the people who are using it. Um, really, that's the point of my talk. I, I think you, if people have something you're passionate about, you should allow it to bleed in, maybe not as the thing itself. Sometimes when I'm working on Frankenbike, it's to solve a problem that I, or a challenge that I've come across in my work, sometimes when I'm actually welding or something, I think, oh, if I hook that together here, and this there, it'll suddenly work. But more often, when I'm working on something unrelated to a challenge at hand, I've noticed that suddenly a solution might appear to me. So as I've been thinking about work and play and that intersection, I'm kind of thinking about where well, I've been thinking about what should I call that sweet spot? And uh, I love portmanteau words, which is kind of two words crashed together. In fact, I have a favorite portmanteau word. I live in Utah, so it's heck. You might not think it's a portmanteau word, but it's hell. And where did the CK come from? <laughs> right. So anyway, the, uh, the sweet spot, I've decided to call it plurk, which is play and work and where they overlap. And so my main thought is I would just like to encourage you all to plurk to your heart's content. 
because plurking is where the enthusiasm is really generated from. If you'd like to see more of my bikes, you can go to frankenbikes.com, or you can email me at thestroud at thanksgivingpoint.org, uh, or you can come over and have a seat, well, probably on that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>